Hey guys, so this is going to be a video that's going to show you how our T4 process works in the classroom. So there are a couple documents I'm going to use, actually a document and an image. This image first is going to be the, showing the three-step process of what we do with T4 and what we do in class pretty much every day. And you probably have seen this poster. Um, this is a hold against the wall up above the whiteboard in the front of the room. The other one is going to be the document that I gave you that I'm going to ask you guys to cut out and glue and put at the back of your notebook. And that's the talking to the text, actual explanation. Now, for the majority of the year, I'm gonna call it T4. And the reason is simple. Talking to the text is four T's. And instead of me yelling, talk to the text throughout the whole year, it's gonna be just T4. So what exactly is T4? T4 is a process um, in which when you read, it helps the reader learn how to figure things out, the meaning of things. Um, with when they understand something, kind of understand something, or sometimes don't understand anything at all. So it's a way of putting your personal thinking and your the way you pay attention to the world and the way you look at things down on paper by focusing on critical thinking. So you got to use your head in order to, what you're reading, what you're thinking, what questions you have. And you're going to be writing this down on mine, uh, talking to, I mean, on the notes that I give you throughout the year in red pen. So that way you have the black writing of the, the notes and then the red ink stands out. So there are many different examples of what you could do with in terms of a T4 entry. So here are the examples that you could do with a T4 entry. You could examine some, you know, take something apart, describe something with detail. So if you are, you are reading, there's something that you understand and you want to put a little dash to the right and then write a quick little description of it, that is you processing that information. Plus, when we go to the, our process of working with T4, we are going to do this every single day, which is first, I'm going to ask you guys to T4 the work, T4 the notes or whatever material we're doing. And you're going to read about the notes as you're reading it. You're going to think about the notes as you're reading it. And then you're going to write your T4 comments. So that's step one of the three-step process. You're going to read, you're going to think, you're going to write. The writing thinking part, this is the T4ing. This is the thought process of what I'm explaining on the other document. Then step two is once I give you time to do that and you have great comments all over your paper, now it's time to share them with your pair, with your partner. And once again, when you share them, you're going to read your notes again, whatever you just T4, you're going to think about what, why you wrote what you wrote. And now it's time to discuss and share those thoughts with a partner. And then the last one is once I give you guys time to discuss together as partners, then it's time to discuss the whole class. And then once again, you're going to read your notes, you're going to think about your notes, and then we are going to discuss all together. So there's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of thinking, writing, discussing. And the point of this is it's supposed to be that whatever text I give you, it won't matter. You'll be able to break it apart because of this process that we're going to use. And again, these are all different types of ways that you could write your thinking onto the paper. So you could define something. So if you get to something that you're reading and you know what it means, put a little dash next to it or a little circle. And then on the top, tell what the definition is. What exactly does it mean? Um, explain it. Just straight out explain it. Um, access and evaluate. Describe the topics, positive or negative aspects of it. So if somebody on their right mentions kill, you put a little thing is out very bad because, you know, somebody's going to die. Describe it in detail. Um, discuss it. So uh, explain why you wrote something down. Interpret it. You know, why do, what do you think it means? And sometimes the, the interpretations that you put on your paper will be wrong and it's okay. So when it's time to go and discuss with your partner on step two, and you are, you're telling him something that you thought is what it meant. And he thinks, he tells you, he or she tells you, you know what? I think it doesn't mean that. I think it means this. So now you have two different types of thinking on the same idea. And either you could come up with a conclusion together. Or when we come up with step three, which is where we do it together, that's where one of you shares what you think it is. And then I could help you out in connecting the dots and hoping that you understand what it actually is. So the idea is that you're going to use compare and contrast. Maybe you're, you're reading these notes and it reminds you of a movie you watch. So you write the name of the movie right under the little whatever sentence you just wrote. And then when you went to go discuss with your partner, you tell them, hey, this reminds me of this movie. And then your partner says, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I saw this movie. Or you contrast it where you're reading about something you're like, this seems a lot like what we read in that novel in my English class. And then you again tell your partner and then your partner says, no, yeah, but you know, it's a little different. So it's similar, but a little different. All that thinking going on is just making it easier for you to analyze 
what is going on on the reading, writing and for you to understand it and be able to answer any question that I have for it. You could even illustrate, create a couple little figures, a little like uh, images next to it, something that makes you understand that material and is able to share it with a partner. Um, and trace, trace a brief description, give a brief description of, of like the order of things went to. So if I give you a section of notes in the beginning, when something happens and then it goes to another thing and then it goes to another thing, you could go put a line and connect the three things and you see the line and now you can say, oh, look, it's like this is in order. So all of these different ways, either examining something, defining, explaining, access it, describe it, discuss it, interpret, compare, contrast, analyze, illustrate, trace. We do this all the time in our thinking when we're trying to figure something out. This is just our, going to be our way of doing it constantly in class. So when I give you the notes, you're able to try to use these different ways of explaining your thinking and then write it down on the actual paper. So now when I give you, say, five minutes to go over a section and you contrast something, you illustrate something, you explain something, you define something, and then there's questions. You could also ask questions or you read a section, a, a sentence, and you honestly have no clue what it means. Put a little arrow to the side, put a little question mark. And now when you go discuss with your partner, um, you ask him, did you know what this meant? And then your partner can say, yeah, yeah, I got this. And then he tells you, now your partner has explained it to you and you had a question and he just answered it. That's going to improve your thinking and understanding of the topic. And if it, well, what if both of you have question marks next to it? Maybe it's one of those issues that was difficult to understand. That's why we have step three of the process where you guys couldn't figure it out together. You read something, you didn't understand it, so you put a little question mark. Then together, you both still could understand it. Well, luckily, then there's the whole class discussion led by me where I'll help you understand all these complex issues. So whenever it is that you're going to read something, you're going to start on your own, reading, thinking, and writing my comments. And then your writing is going to be all over in red on your notes. And then you're going to take that and then you're going to go to a partner and try to figure it out together. So I try to figure it out about myself. I got some of it. I was kind of not sure about others and I had no clue about this. Now you go through that same process, think, reading it again, thinking it, and this time discussing it with a partner. And maybe you understand a little bit more and then it's time for me to help you connect the dots. I'm going to give you extra information. I'm going to connect the dots. I'm going to ask any questions that you don't understand. And the idea that is after you read, think, and write by yourself, you read, think, and discuss with a partner, and you read, think, and discuss with me, that you should have an understanding of the notes, and therefore any assignment I give you, which are based on my notes, should be, I shouldn't be difficult for you to do. All my quizzes, where all the questions come from the notes, should be easy to understand, and you should be able to study for your finals, because again, you've done a lot of reading, a lot of thinking, a lot of writing, and a lot of discussing in class with your, by yourself, with a partner, and with me. And these are just examples of what your thinking could look like when you put it on the paper. All right. Hope that helps. Thank you and have a good day.